Alrighty, my name is Mike Ritzma. I'm a partner here at I3 Business Solutions. We just completed our data at risk executive briefing with security expert Dave Stelzel. We're talking about small business, and in that context, what about mobile and smartphones? Are they a risk? I mean, are they rising up the ladder here, Dave? Yeah, I, you know, when I look at what we need to worry about in 2012, I would say there's two big things, and that's going to be mobility and it's going to be social media. Uh, and, and I pick those two things uh, because the, the public doesn't think of those as computers. They, they think of it as uh, social things or just uh, another phone, like we've had phone for a long time. Uh, it's not a computer. So when you're on a computer, you sit there and you think, okay, do I want to buy this application? It's got to be a reputable company. Uh, if I'm working on a system in that company, I'm going to go through a quality assurance process to make sure that application is good. IT will do that for me. Uh, but when I'm on my own phone, uh, I can just buy a mobile app. I can, it can be free. I might just download it or it might be 99 cents. And, and I don't think like that. So all of a sudden, the hackers are targeting places where people just have their guard down and that's going to be mobile phones and it's going to be social media. Social media is gonna, going to send me links and apps that are going to download infections on my computer and those same kinds of infections will be used in the mobile environment. And of course, the mobile environment is going to me doing all kinds of applications including online banking. That means I've got a, a device which probably is not encrypted probably doesn't have a password on it because nobody's doing that and now it's got an application on there that I didn't put on there that was integrated into something I did download and now somebody's had access to that, a hacker has access and they're going to be able to get to anything I can get to on this handheld computer. That is not good. Well, How easy is it to get in in a small and medium business environment? I mean, can people really get in? Yeah, the, the, the thought used to be, I guess the thought used to, really was, you know, you have to get on a computer and hack in, hack into the firewall, and you've got to be a pretty sophisticated person to do that. Of course, today what's happened is people have written attacks, attack software, and so you can actually do this. You can go home and you can search the internet and look for tools to hack in or, or something like that. And you'll find you can get free ones and you can maybe pay a hundred or two hundred dollars and you can download a toolkit and that toolkit is simple it's got some instructions it's got some menu items and you just point it at a system you point it at a web page or you point it at at a company IP address or a company whatever you want to point it at whatever it tells you to point at you don't really need to know much here and you just follow the instructions it's going to be menu driven and it's going to allow you to for instance uh, there's one tool that allows me to point at a website and it'll check that website and it will figure out if there's a weakness to break into that website. Well, the problem is companies should be doing that. They should be checking to see, but they're not. And so the hacker, he's going to find that and he doesn't have to be sophisticated. He just has to have the tool. So 100 bucks, 200 bucks, he's got the tool, he's in. It's cake. How do you know? How does a small business know today that somebody's in their network? Now that is a huge problem. Uh, because the tools today are not viruses. So if you go back, rewind back to, uh, you know, 80s, 1980s, uh, people were using viruses, right? And, and you, if you remember, like, the, the Melissa virus, you know, there's a bunch of them way back when. And they would come up and they would tell you, you've got a virus, you know, we're going to delete your hard drive in 15 minutes. And you'd freak out and not know what to do. Well, that's gone away because today's hackers are not looking to scare you. They're looking to steal from you. And so it's going to be a stealth attack. And, and so do you know if there's something on your computer? You don't. You only know if you're looking for what they've got on there. And, and how does that happen? Well, it happens like this. Think, think about it like this. If someone breaks into your house, they're going to make noise and they're going to leave a trail. Probably. Fingerprints, something, right? Well, that's what you're looking for. And the average computer user can't see that. They can't see fingerprints. They can't see traces of some break-in. But special tools on the computer side, on the, on the security analyst side, that person can go in and they can conduct an investigation. And that actually should be happening all the time. It's not something you do after the break-in. It's just something you do all the time. You're constantly monitoring. And when something happens that leaves a trace of somebody stealing, and they do leave a trace, there's always something that's not quite right, those tools will pick it up and it alerts you there's a problem. And so you really need to be working with someone who understands that and can be watching your system for you. All right. Thank you, Dave. And yes, we do that at I3 Business Solutions. Dave Stelzel, author of three books, including Data at Risk, 
If you're interested or would like more information, contact us at i3 Business Solutions. Thank you.